The legal battle over who won Nigeria's presidential election has got to the final stage, Nigeria's highest court. And the stakes are pretty high as all parties in the matter unveil their strategy at this crucial moment where there are no second chances. The academic records of President Bola Tinubu from the Chicago State University were mentioned early during the proceedings as I took up worker through his counsel, Chris Uche, prayed the seven-member panel headed by Justice Nyang Okoro to allow the fresh evidence to establish allegations of forgery and lying under oath against Tinubu. But one of the justices on the panel, Justice Imanan Agim, told Atiku's lead counsel that the deposition which he sought to tender as evidence was done in the chamber of Atiku's lawyer and not in the court as required by law, and states that this is a matter of national interest. In his response, Uchi submitted that the legal system in the United States is different from that of the English legal system, which is practiced in Nigeria, and confirmed that the depositions were made in the law chambers of Atiku's American lawyer, with representation by Tinubu's American lawyers. Tinubu's lawyer, Wole Olanipekum, objected to the admissibility of fresh evidence, insisting that such depositions have to be adopted by the individual that deposed to it before it can be admitted as evidence before a court. The presiding justice, Iyang Okoro, observed that the issue of conflicting documents from the same institution is a serious criminal act which ought to be proved beyond reasonable doubt. The Apex Court also reserved judgment in the appeal of Labour Party's Peter Obi who also asked for the nullification of Tinubu's electoral victory. In another development, the Apex Court also dismissed the appeal brought before it by the Allied People's Movement, APM, against the judgment of the Presidential Election Petition Court following an application for its withdrawal by APM's lead counsel, Shukuma Machuku Ume. APM's case was one of double nomination, the same case the Supreme Court had previously dealt with. After today's proceedings, it's looking very likely that the Supreme Court panel, seven-member panel, may decide 5th of November the appeals, the remaining two appeals, those of Atiko Baker of PDP and the Labour Party's P. Taubi, with respect to what they feel is the actual outcome of the presidential election held on the 25th of February. Their decision, of course, will have a total sense of finality. From the Supreme Court, venue of the hearing, Godfrey Shamagay, Arise News.